We have to do something that we feel proud of, so then when we look into the past, we took a stand for what it was right. Empathy's vision is putting privacy at the core of what we do. Privacy is making headlines every day and we are there. Privacy is what defines us. We want to grow, but we, we want to do it in a, in a sustainable and respectful way. Being able to build this privacy-first discovery platform is going to be our next tipping point in the market. 2021 was a uh, solid year on the enterprise side of things. Very good result. It speaks volumes to our relationship with uh, Kroger. 2022, so what do we expect for this year? Uh, we went for something that is achievable and, and realistic, uh, given the pipeline and the projects that we're working on, the state at which uh, Motiv is, which is gonna be a, a revenue stream in the future as well. And again, we're gonna be reinvesting every penny of that into the future growth of uh, the firm. As Empathy, we decided to choose our own path, and this is sustainable growth. We are going to grow at our own pace, employing our own strategies that we feel are respectful. We have everything in just one place. We have this solid foundation for this acceleration, that we have the tools, we have the processes, and we have the people. The quality of the work that everybody has done over 2021, just incredible. I am very, very pleased and very, very proud to be part of this team. Empathy Platform is a realization of our vision. We don't know PII is stored anymore. We have also sophisticated the technology. Now we can say that the cloud attachments that we have are minimum. This is the product themes for 2022. First, evolving the product, having the privacy at the core of what we do. The second one, it's sharing with the world how we are through our documentation. Then, merchandiser centricity. And last but not least, time to production. Let's face the challenge of moving Empathy Platform to production, enable partners, and let's keep it up. As you know, we started last year working with a handful of shops and in the last months we've been able to onboard many, many more customers who are now testing out Motive Search. Due to the fruitful collaboration we have with Kroger, they want us to extend it to more teams. So throughout this year, we will be introducing new squad teams to the Kroger program. We have established a close relationship and partnership type collaboration with them. We just heard from Nesta talking about the Kroger relationship. It is accelerating our growth. It truly is a privilege. I'm going to speak to you and tell you a bit more about the Ethical Commerce Alliance. We want to set, um, give out recommendation to retailers um, how to avoid privacy violations. About 92% of people, according to a survey, have had some kind of bad experience online related to privacy. And that kind of bad experience kind of teaches us that yes, privacy is still important. This really feels like a critical moment for us. One of the things that we want to really do, make sure that we're really the ones at the front of that privacy conversation. I want feedback on the impact of my actions. We just want to feel that we are being looked after and that our data is in our control. Privacy will be this, the core enabler of this new economy around purpose. We definitely want a more fairer, a more ethical, a more open and a healthier internet. We need to have a very disruptive standpoint. And we recognize that there is an incredible moment and an incredible opportunity to take a stand for privacy, to be thought leaders on privacy. This is the element of disruption. And for a company that goes for sustainable growth, for a company that goes for organic growth, there's got to be an incredible, beautiful, outstanding difference in the market. We need to make this something that connects with our purpose and our ambitions and our energy.